Thank you so much, guys. That was a fabulous performance. I got to tell you all the things I liked about it. It was so um, passionate, so flexible in its timing. Beautiful individual sounds, lots of expressive, and I, expressive sort of feeling from everybody. Beautiful balances. And um, I got a sort of sense of the tragedy of the movement yeah. throughout, which was wonderful. There was a lot of pain in the yeah. sounds. So just basically play it by that. But I have a few things to say. <laughs> I, I was really convinced for actually the beginning, a lot of the beginning. I don't know whether you have a lot of thoughts. I have some thoughts, <laughs> but, but go on. And so let's do the thoughts about the beginning, but I'd also like to think about the sort of transitions into the softer, more tender materials and how to sort of make those things more, what's the word? Um, more personal, more as if you're making them up, more spontaneous. So we'll come to that. But do you want to begin at the beginning? Yeah, sure. Bravo, you guys. Oh, really, really great. very enjoyable. I loved hearing you, all of you, individually. Yes. Um, this might generalize what I heard a little too much, but when you guys each individually had your solos, it was so good. It was so good. It was so good. So good. And then there's these little transition things that happen or, or little, even just from the beginning, that I thought didn't quite have the care that you put in your solos. And so in a way, you lost me as an audience member, right? So you lose me doing those things, but then you give me a nice, a nice solo. And I just, there's so much that Brahms does in those moments, the in-between moments, that I just thought, try to get your attention in those. And I did think right at the beginning, your first chord was so strong. It was incredible. And I love the sound that came after it. Yeah. But in a way, this, there was so much purpose in the strident or whatever, however you want to describe it, just ah. Uh, It's just absolutely heartbreaking. And then what are you going to do with the second one? It looks the same on the page, right? And so, OK, you could play it the same because it looks the same on the page. But I don't think it's the same. I think when a composer repeats themselves, it's up to you to decide what you could do differently, but you must do something differently. Regular people don't repeat themselves and say the same thing exactly at the same, <laughs> in the same way, right? So this is the same, the same thing. So try to sort of create something with this little sequence that repeats. And with your cue, how much information can you give to these two to really meet you in that sound that you want? Can we go from the, from the top? that and more articulate you can be emotionally in those two things the more they're gonna be like what and then you'll play it again and be like what right and then you'll play the third time which again has to be something different and it, for me this one just comes from so deep and back to where you picked it up from. Do you understand what I mean? So give us some emotional context on this. Once more. OK, really nice. So what do I mean by give information on the cue, right? You guys practice, you've probably talked about this. But here's the thing, you're on stage. You're about to play a concert, just like now. And all they have to get the sound that you want to create as a group at the beginning is this cue. By the time, if they wait to hear what comes out, it's too late. They don't have time to do anything with it, right? So can I cue you guys in? 
Do you mind if I sit on your seat? Thank you so much. Aha. Aha. So now, now you really have to follow, right? You can't expect. With every single thing, you have to sort of, guys, now we're going to do this, and now this, and yeah. That was so touching. That was so touching. It is a different key. When, it go, when he, he drops the key, right? So for me, there's a different emotion that you guys can tap into for this sequence of events. And there's two more now. So in a way, try not to slow it down. Because we might, do you see? So try. Right? Good. Hmm. I just really wanted to work on, on this sort of, because I, I do think this piece has so much color that, that's not on the melodies and the phrases and the beautif beautiful themes is what I'm trying to say. There's so much in between the lines that... And so what I'm getting most from observing this is just that degree of spontaneity. Yeah. And I don't know what you think that means, music. I mean, you're sort of quite spontaneous, but I noticed when you did something, you weren't all sort of... You may be doing something you weren't quite planning to do, so mm -hmm. do make sure you're not planning to do things. You just have to sort of agree the basic sort of ethos behind it. And then you'll be more like actors, and we never want to feel like they're, they're reading mm -hmm. the script. But you're really feeling it for the moment, that's why you're doing the thing you're doing. May we sort of skip ahead sure, a little sure. bit to... I was just wondering, as you transition into this material, and the word transition came to my mind, whether you quite managed that enough. I, I felt like there's time to take a little time there and to change the color. What do you think? You so, I mean, what you showed me very much is that you go on with 16th and you've been playing 16th. Da -da 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 oh, they're 16th. But do you think you can just sort of dare to lean in and take the time to make a different color? Can we just try that? So let's, let's set up some sort of... Um, some, some passion before that. So let's go back to 42 or something. And actually, even, yes, yeah, let's do that. Beautiful job. You just took a little more time and you really made this transition beautiful. But right here, I wonder if you can do, you're doing very much what he asks, which is sort of up and down, up and down, up and down. 
but I think you need a much longer line, which I'm sure you're trying to do. But I think you're releasing the sound too much. So can you think of the long pro progression of harmony you're trying to intensify? You could dare to grow a little bit, a bit more. Um, let's just do that, and then there's something to say about the next section. So where's yeah. a good place to... Do you mind if we go from the same, yes. from where we just started? Speaking of sequences, right? There are so many sequences that just happened. And I know he has you guys in Fortissimo and you just want to scream because there's so much pain in this. But do you see what I mean? There's so much happening in actual the actual just wording of notes that I wish came out in the plane. And then um, another one was sequences again. I didn't quite understand the emotional journey through those. It was beautifully played, right? But where do you want to take me with that? And what is this? How is this different? Why is that darker? How can we make it, right? Think about sequences. Would you yeah. mind doing it once more? Why do you keep on same? insisting on this thing? Very, very full of emotional sort of trouble somehow. Before yeah. it. And so that way you don't have to scream the whole time. Mm -hmm. Now you, you'll have a plan, knowing what to do with each one. Get to the best melody ever written. Arguable. That. <laughs> that, that was fantastic. <laughs> Every way that was better. Um, I just got a little thought about these. And you go up and then you go down. And I feel like I'm a little bit too aware of the entries. I'm doing this. How about coming in a little less making and listening out for the person who's still doing the second half? So as you come in, you're observing that you're overlapping with something else beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you want to just try from exactly where that starts? Yeah, and for that, just some, a little specific thing, around 56, do -da 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 -tapella, make sure you're reflecting the things that are going on over here. Right? But be careful, it's not just about the 16th. It's the journey up them to something beautiful at the top of them, and listen out for that. Let's go from when you begin. 52? 52. <coughs> challenge we could set for you is how could you persuade us you've never played this before, we've never heard it before, and you're just inventing it. And what is in my mind is that you, maybe it's the way you sort of compose something. You start with some material. What shall I do with this? Where do I find myself? I could try that again somewhere. You're, I think you're sort of half thinking this way, but also you really know it very well, and it's, it's a little bit inevitable sounding. So sometimes we need to persuade us that people that we don't know what we're doing, rather than we know. 
you sort of have to keep your curiosity yes. on 100% at all times. Anytime you touch this instrument, curiosity should be oozing mm. out of, <laughs> of all your fingers, right? So in a beautiful way, think about how this is made, not in an intellectual way, but you've got this singing thing, which maybe goes somewhere, Hee -da -da. I wonder what's happening with it. What am I going to do? And it'll affect your timing just a little bit, your color a little bit. Do you want to try something? Do you mind if we connect it? I did sure. feel like the cello yes. could do a bit of a, it's sort of, you fall into this. Yeah. yeah. He, you make him fall back into this melody. So give us the luxurious E flat, right? And so it's something about, it's in the vibrato, I think. During the eighth note. And of course, another way, just put this, you know, just tell us a story. And you, you introduce somebody, and then what are they going to do? And they're going to do that. Whatever you in, like to make up while you're doing it. So where, where did you we? want to go from? 60? Yes, perfect. That's yes, tremendous. It's great. It's great. <laughs> It was gorgeous, and I think you'll do it differently the next time and the next time, which is exactly what you should do. That was gorgeous, but you know what Beautiful. I really loved about this? Love it. All of a sudden, you could hear the relationship between the two hands. Aha, uh -huh. also. Yeah. The melody, and then this guy would just jump in the best way possible. I just love that. It was gorgeous. All of a sudden, there was... Have you thought much about what happens? I mean, who's got the melody after this? And it's a sort of true question, but he plays the melody, and then you start, da -dee -dum, ba -da -dum. what do you play? Da -dee -da -da -dee -dum. And you just got a beautiful long note, and what are you playing? Um, yeah. Where is the melody? Yeah. In the bass line? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> it's not a melody, it's a bass line. So, um, in, there's a way in which I think you could describe this as every, you need everybody to make a sort of melody. It's like you're sort of all being a variation, one that you just heard and you're sort of all reflecting on it, and it isn't quite there, but you're sort of all... And maybe that's what you're thinking, but I think there's a way in which you could combine your sounds so you're curious about each other, and you're making this thing together. It's a... Do you want to just play? You don't have to play that again, because you shouldn't do that again until the concert. But can you just do the last two bars? And then make a variation together on it. because it would be fun to do. Can we just do different, it's already better. Can we just do this combination? I just want you to notice each other and love each other even more from where this begins. Just, and don't even look at the music for a second, just each other. So one thing you might think about is when are you sort of doing things in parallel with each other? And you might change your color a little because you're playing quite sustained and she's so at those times maybe you'll sort of inflect with her it'll become her they're tender with each other yes good it's beautiful and nothing independent i mean you, you've got these beautiful parts but don't suddenly get much denser than somebody else totally in Sympathy with each other. Try that again. Love what she's doing. Yes. And can we just have the two of you now? Okay. 
now I'm not quite so interested in your left hand there. It's just that that inspires you. She gives it to you and you as a color. Four parts together now. Yeah. Can I mention just one thing? Yeah, I gorgeous. love the way you play this. So gorgeous. Yeah. I love the tension that you bring out. And then for me, that's such a generous part. And in a way, I feel like you're looking at that hairpin and crescendo and you're getting a little bit of a harsher. But how generous could you be with the, the audience? Just, could you sort of spread the love right there? Which is what happens in the melody. It's that bit. Yeah. 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 Should we try it all four of you together again? So let go of the tension that you created. We, we've just, just been given a five minute warning, so. All right, all right. This was more satisfying than the first time we played it, but there's even room for you to luxuriate in that longer, I think. Even yeah, wider. Wider. Yes. Just because the sheer sound you need to have out there, which is already good, yeah. has to be so fully generous, doesn't it? So feel free. Again, it's a sort of variation of the melody, isn't it? Yeah. I did think during this bum 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 you guys could create a little more of a rhythmic not really tension because it's not tense, maybe until he goes to the minor thing. But rhythmic integrity is what I mean. You know, if, if the heartbeat, if the heart didn't have rhythmic integrity, we would all just be suffering, right? <laughs> so just make sure. And it just sounds a little bit nonchalant, sort of, okay, so I'm background. Now, you're not. Yeah? Yeah. Should, should we try that and just get into this beautifully sort of climactic thing and then see if you can hold on to the idea that you're making it up afterwards? You're, again, you're a variation. Behind that word is the idea of fantasy and continuing to sort of invent. So, should we try a little bit more of the jump? And if you can get closer to it, be triplets, not dump it on. That's quite important, okay? Like you knew what was coming up. Yep. So we're in a development section. Yeah. Isn't this transition material so hard? Right? So you have to take where, where they left off and then take her to her next thing. So the idea behind that is look, what am I doing at the moment? I've been doing this material and I'm going to sort of, I'm going to wonder what I'm doing and, and don't feel like you're just inevitably counting. Yeah. yeah. Do we have time just to play that climactic thing, the two of you once? Because you could describe this as piano. Yeah, with melody with you sort of accompanying. 
and harmonizing, or you could describe it as a violin variation, which would give you even more freedom. Can we try it thinking just the two of you from there, the, 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 the top, the climax? Yes. And see if you can sort of let it be extremely rhapsodic. <laughs> about it. Maybe that's over in Georgia. Yes. Never take it for granted. Play yeah. a natural game, which is very expressive. It's lovely. You know, every time we get very expressive in Brahms, there's a tendency. We walk a fine line of yes, portato, no portato. <laughs> oh, that's so, true. You, you mean with the yes, bow? Yes. Because yes. every note has so much, right? So yeah. you're like, but what about this note? But this note also. But you had to do di da di da di da ya da di ba dum bum bum bim ta di ti ta ta. Do you see the the overall slur? Even though he gives us little articulations, so make sure that's not. Make sure you mean every portato you play, and that it's not a bad habit, right? Could we start two measures before this? Because that's the hard thing. I, it's really hard to go from the, the rhythmic thing true. to this. That's true. Right? So how could you do that? You are a big part of this. You have to watch, 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 and, and be in her, like in her melody, in her. Yes, feel that the time she wants. Exactly. And make it yes, and. So somewhere we'll before the crescendo. Yeah, sounds good. So, you know, take that all the time, don't all the time, but the, the out of your hand is you're just, what should we do now? How many sequences are yeah. here? Are you starting to see it? Yeah. Right? So anytime you see the same group of notes, you got to do something. you got to do something. Very reluctantly, I think the time is yep. up. Beautiful, Bravo, guys. beautiful group. Bravo. Beautiful group. You played that tune so beautifully. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.